As an active in the ride and race on most of the platform Swift, I'm excited to unbox the new Swift Play. Stick around to find out more. I'm going to be showing you what's in the box, going through the user's manual and of course testing it in-game. The box looks nice, packed smartly. Here we have the user's manual and a nice little sticker. Here we have the controllers for each side of the handlebar. In this little box we find the charging cable and the handlebar fitting adapters. The user's manual greets us, followed by a checklist of all the items. Simple instructions show us how to attach the controllers to your handlebar. To fasten your Swift Play controllers onto your handlebar, place them snugly under the appropriate brake hoods. Wrap the flexible strap around your handlebars onto the hook. That worked well. If controllers are insecure, use the spacers provided. Now let's look into more details. To turn on your controllers, simply press the Swift logo button on each side. Fully charge your controllers with the cable provided. Each controller has an USB port opening where you can connect the charging cable. Again, on each side, but this splitted cable charges both at the same time. The Swift logo button changes light color according to its current operation. Green pulsing is for charging, green means charged. Orange flashing is indicating low battery, red means error. The blue pulsing indicates that the plays are ready to connect. The blue lights will stay on once they're connected. To connect, enter the game as usual and go to a pairing screen. Select the steering option, here mine already connected automatically. But at first, you'll have to select each controller side. Also here, my screen shows that there is an update available. If that happens, you need to quit the game, access the companion app, select the update notification directly, or open up your menu and go to Swift Hardware. Here, you should find your controllers and can start the update. That's pretty much it. The user's guide is pretty simple and clear. Some additional information for support is found at the end of the manual. But now, let's play! Once you get into the game for the first time with your controllers connected, Swift will have a quick tutorial going through all the buttons and functions on your place. The tutorial guides you to press the different keys. It's a really different feeling being able to control your avatar in-game. The buttons react easily. There can be quite some advantage in choosing your best spot for drafting or cutting corners. Be aware that pressing inside of the steering buttons causes your avatar to break. Then it will stop moving even if you're outputting power. Press and hold the orange Z button to drop a ride-on bomb. This will give ride-ons to everyone around you. Pressing the pink B will open up the menu. Then on the left controller you can use the arrow buttons to navigate and select with the green button. The blue button activates your power-up. During workouts, you can easily control intensity or skip intervals. In group rides, it is helpful to be able to control your position and brings quite some novelty to the game. I'm curious and looking forward to see how well the controllers will work for racing. I think I will need a bit more practice and getting used to. Talking about practice, one of the best and most fun ways to practice your steering abilities is the Repack Rush. The Repack Rush is a short time trial course that features time bonus pickups, boosts and hazards. You can access it from your home screen or ride to about the middle of Titan's Grove and select your way in there. The first time you will receive this welcome message. If you select don't show this again, next time you can carry speed and go straight into the segment. If you rode into the Repack Rush with a power up, you won't be able to use or see it. But once you're done and select free ride again, your power up won't be lost. Or give it another try and go for a personal best record. Thanks for watching my review of the Swift Play. Let me know in the comments what you think. Also, if you want to see me live streaming riding or racing, follow me on Twitch. Bye!